So you can like woohoo in the trailer with a famous sim? Okay, I want to see what happens. <laughs> oh my god, he literally kicked him out. Hi everyone, it's Ian with Nostalgia Games and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I've said it once and I'll say it again, The Sims Superstar is my favorite expansion pack of all time in the entire Sims franchise. It's been nearly 20 years since it was originally released and it's still so fun to play to this day. I think what really made this expansion pack a lot of fun was how challenging it truly was to make your Sims rich and famous. The celebrity system was really tough in The Sims 1, and you had to know a lot of celebrity Sims in order to advance in the career. You were constantly having to make new relationships, build up new skills, and by the time you were finally there at level 5, a lot of people were already burned out with the game. Now there are already about a billion videos on YouTube that exist about The Sims Superstar, so I thought to spice things up today, we'd go ahead and play off of a pre-made Sim that I created a long time ago who's already an established 5-star celebrity. That way you can get a full tour of what's truly attainable once they have reached that level of stardom. So without further ado, let's dive into the game and go to Studio Town and see all the cool interactions that they can now do. Alright, so this is my sim. His name is Harry, and he still lives in pretty humble surroundings. It wasn't until recently that he became a full 5-star celebrity. And as you can see, he's actually already lost half a celebrity point. We were in Studio Town not too long ago, and there were some hiccups on set of a music video, so he actually ended up losing some of his fame points. I also haven't kept all the relationships up with the celebrity friends that he needs, so he still needs a lot of points in that area as well. And like I said, this is a really tough expansion pack. If you want to maintain fame, you really have to work hard for it. Let's go ahead and go into Studio Town, and I will show you some of the really cool things that Harry can do now since he's a really big celebrity. Now Studio Town does have a few different career tracks. There's acting, singing, and modeling, but you don't pick or choose which one you want to do. You kind of honestly have to partake in all of them if you want to score a lot of celebrity points. Now if you do want your sim to focus mainly on singing, you can do that absolutely, but the whole career track is kind of based on a hybrid system. There's not really any opportunity to be just a singer or an actor or a model, but if you're role playing, you can kind of go that route. All right, so he's gonna go ahead and get a ride into Studio Town, and as you can tell, he has a limo that's picking him up, which is pretty cool. He definitely gets the five-star treatment now that he is at the top of his game. All right, I think starting off, we'll start with music, then we'll go to modeling, and then we'll go to acting. So all of these lots have different types of career tracks. So the modeling career path is over here on the far right. Up here in the top corner is the acting studios, and down here in the bottom left hand corner is where all the recording studios are for the music career. So we're gonna go there first. I'm kind of in the mood for Bob to shoot a music video, and to do that we just come over here to this little area. Um, there is already a producer on set. You see this little green screen here, but we're actually gonna just interact with this camera and we're gonna go to shoot. And we have the option of a rock video, a pop video, or a dance video. I kind of want to do a dance video. He's already gone into costume. So we have to choose a sequence of three main inspirations. And depending on how we choose these is how he's gonna perform. Now we obviously really have no way of knowing how he's going to perform. We kind of have to go into this blindly. So I'm gonna select Do Thunder Rain. I'm gonna work backwards and we will see the reactions of this producer. If she's reacting negatively in these sequences, we kind of can infer and figure out what we need to change if there's a mishap. It's a little complicated, but you'll you'll get the hang of it in just a minute. So we're gonna do Dew, Thunder, Rain. So 
So she looks like she's reacting pretty positively, so hopefully, fingers crossed, all goes well. Like I said, you can still lose celebrity points even if you're at the top of your career, which kind of sucks. Okay, she's not happy now, so I'm wondering if it's the second sequence she's not happy with. Let's see. Okay, she's not happy with this one either. Okay, shoot. Let your inspiration be your spirit guide, or better yet, let mine. Channel my vision. So we did do thunder, rain, and she reacted negatively to thunder and rain. But she reacted positively to do. So I think we need to change the sequence and do do, rain, thunder. And let's see if that helps now. All right, she's happy so far. Okay, she's not happy. Shit. <laughs> See what I mean? This is kind of challenging and frustrating. Like, she's not impressed. I have seen the rising and waning of many stars and moons. I'm thinking you're in the waning category. Perhaps you're inspirationally challenged. Crap! And he's already now in the negatives. He's lost two points or whatever that is. So this is where this gets really frustrating. You really kind of have to be strategical and know what you're doing. Oh, and by the way, since he's pretty high up, he has an obsessed fan that follows him everywhere, even sometimes in his house. It's pretty creepy. And that is the one annoying thing about being a four or five star celebrity in this expansion pack. Okay, let's try this again and let's try a different song. Let's do a uh, pop video. All right. Let's do peace, romance, and hope. And again, we need to keep an eye on the reactions of the producer and see how they react. All right, he's reacting positively to the first one. So that's good. Reacting positively to the second, yay. Okay, fingers crossed. Ah, oh, crap, we failed again. He's yelling at him. Oh my God, see, we are not winning here. So he's not happy, but he's not angry like the last one was. Cool, he got 1,300 simoleons for the music video. That's awesome. All right, well, I think that I have shown you enough with the music videos. Let's go to the recording studio now and record an album. That's a pretty fun one. A payphone. Oh man, I still remember those. I'm that old. There's the fan. So creepy. That wouldn't fly by in one of the newer Sims games, I can tell you that. He's like a stalker too, which is really weird. Let's go to the recording studio now. I'm gonna go to Midlock Multiplex and go record an album. All right, these guys are really grumpy too, so let's cross our fingers that all goes well. We are going to record a dance anthem. I really love the dance tracks. All right, and same kind of deal. We have a sequence that we need to memorize. I love that they give that guy an English accent too. It's so obvious. Okay, so we're going to do over the top, mellow, normal, and let's see how they react. All right, he's not happy at, yeah. No over the top to start. Now we're doing mellow. Seems like he's happy with mellow. Okay, cool. So mellow, we're good. And normal, we're good. Okay, so it's just over the top that he doesn't like. Okay, so the first one we have to change. I might be repeating myself, but you're the one sounding like a broken record, babe. Fix it and try again. So over the top, he did not like. He liked mellow and normal. So let's do normal, mellow, normal, and see if that works. See how stressful this is? But it's fun, it's rewarding. Okay, he's reacting well. I think we're good. Thank God. <laughs> All right, yay, I think we did good. Uh, Lanier. 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 
He's happy. Thank God. Babe, way to go. Every good song has a flow, and I see you're in the know. Now we can make some dough. Ha ha ha. Okay, cool. So that is what it's like to record an album. Here's the paparazzi, by the way. Let's go ahead and do a pose for a picture here. One of the many things we can do now that he's a celebrity. <laughs> he's flexing in front of the camera. <laughs> Oh man, I love The Sims one. So fun. Now, if we really wanted to just focus on music only, we could do that. But like I said, there really isn't a designated career track. You are just a celebrity. So in order to really build points, you kind of have to interact with all the different parts of Studio Town, which consists of the music, modeling, and acting tracks. So we're going to go do modeling next. All right. I think we're going to go ahead and go to Buckingham Galleries. So we can do photo shoots, which is cool. Let's just do a print ad for now. I know that's a little bit of a lower paying gig, but it's one where you're kind of guaranteed not to fail. And I don't want to keep losing star points. I'm trying to show you what it's like to be a five star celebrity and he's already lost half a star. All right, here we are modeling for some print ads. Nice work. I think I'll pick up a copy myself today. And that's really all there is to it for this. I mean, we could shoot a bigger campaign. I'm kind of nervous to do that. Should we do it? Okay, let's just do it. We're gonna do a winner wear campaign. And once again, I think we're gonna have to choose sequences. And if we do things incorrectly, we can kind of mess with our career path. Okay, energetic, seductive, artistic. Let's work backwards and do artistic, seductive, energetic. All right, she's not having it. She's happy with the middle one, and she's not happy with the third choice. So we only did the middle one correctly. Let's do energetic, seductive, artistic. She's not happy with that either, shit. See how hard they are to please? Okay, I'm gonna just do seductive three times in a row. One, two, three. Let's see what happens. She likes it. Maybe that was what it was. Yay, I think we're in the green. <laughs> Yay, we succeeded. With the coming of the storm, there is rebirth, even for tumbled river pebbles. I've got what I need. What a bitch. All right, let's go to the runway now. This is one that I haven't interacted with in quite a while. Let's check this out and model some clothing and see what happens. All right, couture, formal, lingerie. Let's do lingerie, lingerie, couture. Again, it's just all on a guess. This is so funny. Look at her looking through the glass with her fan. This is so realistic. Like, look at what a diva she is. Oh, she's so happy though. She liked the lingerie on the first try. Now we're doing lingerie again. Let's see if she likes it a second time. She likes it again. Man, we're getting lucky here. Okay, and then I think the last one was Couture. This is more avant-garde than Couture. This is not Couture. All right, let's see if she likes it. She likes it. What are the odds? I picked a really random combination and we got this one right. Freedom. I was a slave to fashion, now fashion is a slave to you. You can walk for me anytime, wow. One thing I did forget to mention that we have access to now are the star trailers. They don't really help that much with needs. Oh look, there's John Bon Jovi going into one himself. I'm curious if we can go in at the same time. Play in? What the hell? So you can like woohoo in the trailer with a famous sim? Okay, I wanna see what happens. <laughs> oh, that is so fucking hilarious. All right, so we are now at the acting studios. If you thought music and modeling looked tough, oh boy, just wait, just wait. 
I have the worst luck with acting, which is why I never really do it that often, even if they're a celebrity. But we do have a set here and we have a set here. The set here is like for a motion picture film and the set here is for a daytime soap opera. So we can do uh, different like soap opera scenes. We can do an emergency scene or an inheritance scene. Let's do the inheritance scene. I'm not getting my hopes up with this. I mean, this dude might seriously lose some more fame points. Okay, I'm gonna go for dramatic, dramatic, suspenseful. Okay, she's liking the first segment of dramatic. I don't think she likes it a second time. All right, she likes suspenseful. Okay, so we know the sequence we need to choose now. We need to do dramatic, comedic, suspenseful. Okay, she does not like comedic. Damn it, so we should have done suspenseful twice. Crap. Maybe we'll have a third try. All right, so we need to do dramatic and suspenseful twice. Now we should be good. All right, we'll air that. Not the best, but hey, it's daytime. Gosh, that's shady. <laughs> all right, and this is the most stressful one of them all, a motion picture where I never succeed or do well. But let's go ahead and see what happens. We are on the set of what looks like kind of a medieval uh, movie. All right, fury, passion, confidence. Let's do confident, confident, and passion. Fingers crossed, let's see what happens. All right, he likes the first attempt with confidence. He likes the second, what do you know? I'm getting lucky. Oh man, wow. Wow, 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 wow. We did it all correct on the first try. Incredible, if only every performer could be as talented as you. No need to improve on perfection. Stick a fork in it, we're done, awesome. Well, cool, I think we've done like all the big uh, tracks now in the celebrity system. I mean, obviously you can do smaller things like uh, perform a soliloquy or a monologue, but we don't really need to do that because he's already an established, you know, person in fame, so he can already use a lot of the bigger, um, you know, career building interactive elements is what I'm trying to say. So I think I've pretty much showed you now everything available in Studio Town, which is pretty awesome. Oh, look, there's Freddie Prince Jr. Now, the only thing you can do with these celebrities is to ask for an autograph, which is quite annoying because he's a four and a half, almost five star celebrity. You would think that they'd be on the same level and they'd be able to interact with each other. But the Sims team probably wasn't thinking that far. Um, I was in a casting agency when I was in high school and I was recruited fairly often for background work. I got to do a couple motion picture films um, where I was just an extra. And this just really brings back a lot of memories because they always just have like a table with a bunch of food and half of the day is just sitting there eating food, waiting for your call time to go on set. So <laughs> this, is, this is pretty funny. It brings back a little bit of memories here. Oh my gosh, this is so creepy. Oh my god. This dude is like a freaking perv. Oh yeah, this would not fly by in like any of the newer Sims games. Having this like creepy stalker, uh-uh. There is a hack to get rid of him and I actually think that I've downloaded the object. Um, but I don't know if it works or not. It's a star tile that you place in any community lot and you can click on it and summon a security guard who will actually escort the obsessive fan away, which I thought was really cool, but it didn't come with the game. It's a mod. So anyway, let's go ahead and go home and I will show you a few other cool perks that Harry has being a four and a half slash five star celebrity. There is one more interaction now available for him since he is a big celebrity and that is to hire a butler. And the butler just kind of stays on the lot. Um, they don't necessarily like sleep or eat themselves. They just walk around and they clean and they prepare food and they answer the door, which is pretty cool. 500 simoleons a day, that's a lot of money, but he can afford it. And once again, our stalker is here at his house. If this is not creepy, I don't know what is. And I think sometimes if I'm not mistaken, he will just like walk in. It's, it's really scary. This is the stakeout of the most elite crime fighting security guards. Nothing can get past a well-trained security guard's eye. Be sure to hire a security guard once you place this in your home. Oh, okay. 
Security guard, services security guard, how cool. Okay, again, this does not come with the game, this is a mod, but I wanna check this out because I wanna get rid of this stalker once and for all. Would you like to hire a security guard for $400 a day? We specialize in removing pesky obsessed fans. Yes, 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 yes. Excellent, someone will be over in a little while to shock the heck out of the obsessed fan. Be sure to keep the security guard stake out on your lot or he will simply leave. Okay, cool. So we have this tile placed on the lot. Okay, so here's the security guard. This is so funny, security guard Dan. So we can dismiss him at any time, but I'm sure the obsessive fan will come back. Oh my gosh, and he just went and got in the pool with him? The security guard literally just went and got in the pool with his clothes on. This is funny. Okay, the obsessed fan is back. See, he just disappears. So there's not really any like funny interactions that happen. He's not really actually getting tasered or like, moved away it's just that he disappears with the security guard on the lot so anyway it's still nice because it's annoying having him around all right it is now the morning and the uh butler alfred is now here and it looks like he actually even does gardening which is cool so i really don't need a maid or a gardener anymore yeah i'm definitely excited to move harry into a much bigger house i think that would make a lot more sense for having a butler and a security guard Anyway, I just wanted to show all of you what is attainable once you've reached a certain celebrity level in The Sims 1. It's actually pretty fun. If you enjoyed today's video, please do me a favor by liking it. That really helps my channel to grow. And subscribe to my channels for more gameplay videos coming soon. See you all next time.